Hello guys, Wuhu here, back with another video. This time around we are going over an article that was written by uh, Massively Overpowered. They also stream sometimes actually, uh, but this here article, I will, they talked to Gamigo on like what is the next, and you can see, and see what is the next class to be re ramped Bomber Real and stuff like that, and I have said that the next update we are going to have, I haven't read this by the way, I'm reading this at the first time with you guys, uh, of course I read the title and I read the link as well, and you know, but before that I haven't read it, so I don't know what like classes to next to be re ramped what they're gonna do with Bomber Real, but I have said on stream, too, uh, not too re uh, very recently, that I think the next update we are going to see is a uh, Bomber Real season three because they usually do like a big update and a small a big up the small and like that and the last that we got was a big update was of course the delve so the next one would be very uh you know a smaller one would be a season like a new season for example maybe a, a few tweaks here and there or whatever uh but mostly it would be bomber rail season three and it's not very hard to do either because the bomber rail is there you just have to you know make some you know get we get season three coins instead of one or two and then you know there is a, of course a dragon you probably have to ho hopefully there will be a dragon uh sometimes we are amazed that sometimes they you know don't you know do as they did before <laughs> but i really hope that we are going to see a dragon as well with season three um it'll make an incentive for me at least to to go and do so but trope did an interview like i said with massively overpowered about the Gammy goes uh, on, you know, console futures, Bomber Rail, and what is next to the class to revamped. I'm mostly in, uh, very excited about what class is going to be revamped and why they are going to do so. Hopefully, they'll explain it in this one. But we're going to read it together, and hopefully, you can see for my big face here. But uh, okay, so with Tro's fifth birthday and its delve expansion is now behind us, we're curious about what next is for the game. Uh, did I mention that this will be in the description? I don't know if the the the, the link to the article is going to be down there. I didn't know if I said that. Doesn't matter. Let's continue. Gamigos, Cornelia, and Cody. Uh, Cody, we know her, uh, her but... Uh, oh, the production manager. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then game designer. Yes, that's Co that's Kobe. Uh, on Troves, respectively, kind of chatted, uh, kindly chatted with us about and about burning questions like what's up with consoles and what's the next uh, class is up. Uh, which class is up next for a Tomb Raider. Uh, okay, so yeah, the Tomb Raider was updated, so uh, yeah. Uh, Bomber Real mod getting more content. Let's dig in. So, first of all, I want to say it's really awesome that, uh, you know, Cornelia and also Kobe took the time to, um, you know, talk to people about this. This is what we, we used to have, and I did a whole year of new trove you know, Trove News, which was uh, basically me uh, talking about what happened on their live stream and what they said and stuff like that to people that didn't see it, like in a shorter kind of news kind of uh, segment uh, I did on Monday so people could kind of, you know, catch up with all the Trove News there was. Um, but after they, they basically got sold to Gamigo, we, they, they stopped doing that. Um, so we don't get any information it's like this so that's why i'm even doing a video on this like i would probably maybe if it was like something we got all the time i'd probably just post it on the discord you know no big deal but them actually talking to somebody is actually amazing and i have actually personally tried to get some information out of them and also you know interviews or like you know talks and stuff like that i did also a podcast with some uh, i did it there was one dev that came on but he's not with the company anymore but uh, so I just wanted some current ones, but you know they haven't really said that they would they were really interested in right now and stuff like that. And then yes, that's just you know. Anyways, let's continue here. Uh, Massive but can Gamigo talk about current health of the game? How big is the compared to a few years ago? How uh, the PC console player base compared, and how many people are currently working on the game? And how does Gamigo see the game fitting into its stables? Uh, uh, it's stable overall. Okay, uh, so that's a lot of questions. Wow, that's a lot of questions. So, uh, total player base continued to grow. Okay, so that's good. Um, I would. I didn't know it was still growing though. I thought it was like stable, but that's okay. Um, if we compare to console to PC version, there aren't many differences. Of 
user base on console tends to be a little younger though. Okay, okay, so younger on the on the, on the consoles. Okay, cool. Uh, we have a very uh, dedicated team all through the size it, it can uh, fluctuate over time. Yes, okay. Depending on how many factors, including the development of new content and more. Overall, Tro fits very well into our portfolio. Oh, that's really good that they're you know happy about it. Uh, as we strive to provide games to diverse uh, audience and we can work in hardly uh, improving Tro to our players. Okay, that sounds really, really good. Like, I don't know if this is going to be how it, this is going to end up being if it's just like, uh, them saying that everything is great and then it's like burning in the background, right? That's not, <laughs> hopefully it's not like that. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take this as a positive, you know, we can always be, you know, uh, you know, have speculations and stuff like that. But let's just take it as a positive, that's right. But it, it sounds positive, that's what it, I mean, but you're always like a little hesitant, right? <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's go into the next. Delve includes huge revamp to the Tomb Raider. The players, uh, players respond to the revamp uh, by playing the Tomb Raider on long term. What other classes are, are on the deck? Similar revamps. Uh, I think it's a bit early to speak about the long term, but I'm happy with how players responded so far. True, true. Um, the Tomb Raider is better now, for sure. 100%. 100%, 100% better. It was the worst class there was before. It was kind of the meme of the there. Uh, it probably might still be, I don't know, but it did become better, for sure. It did... Did it make it the best class ever? No, 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 no. It's not up there. You know, they can't compare to other classes that are, you know, their kits are just much more suited for some some uh, content and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely, definitely, um, definitely, uh, uh, you know, uh, it did a lot for the Ice Age. You know, the rework for the Ice Age did a lot for that one. But uh, yeah, uh, being able to iterate quickly based on players feedback on the PTS was helpful. So yes, PTS guys, let's go. Creating a class that people enjoyed, also able to stand on the damage charts. Uh, yeah, well, more, <laughs> well, more. As of what next, I think the Chloromancer is a rip, rip, rip for some adjustments to being more aligned with the game of Trove in 2020. That is true. Chloromancer is probably like the worst class at the moment. It's actually very, very good uh, when you like you start like if you use the ultimate and you, you have your your spinny thingies going. The problem is that your spinny spins that you do, um, you know, are staple there. You know, they're standing right there. So if the monster is not in it, you know, then you can't. You know, it's not going to do any damage. Uh, a small small. Thing I was thinking it should do is that if the class gym of the Chloromancer uh, puts down or has a chance to spawn a cactus that shoots uh, like, you know, ar not arrows, but like small pointy thingies, you know, uh, I don't know what they're called, um, but like those, it does damage and has a chance. Uh, the same thing was for the Dracolite, was that it had a chance for, uh, you know, a Draco baby to spawn out of the Draco eggs, right? Um, when there was a when they had the class gym, they changed the class gym uh, to have a hundred percent spawn rate on this, and I think that's basically all they did for the Dracolite. And the Dracolite went from like mid tier to top tier, right? So I'm not saying this would do something for the you know Chloromancer, like that would be the fix for it, but at least that would be a small fix uh, or a small thing that might do something. I don't say I'm not saying it's probably going to end up at uh, you know, top tier, you know, the Tomb Raider didn't do that either, but let's see what they're going to do with the Chloromance. I'm very excited. Um, they do say 2020, uh, so I'm not saying that the update for the Chloromance is coming in 2020, but uh, hopefully we'll know more about the update in 2020. I know these uh, class reworks uh, can take a time to, to do so. All right, anyways, uh, the key change in Dell was basically a huge change for Shadow Towers. Or oh, the key change, oh, I don't, know if that, I don't know if I'm, you know. Shadow Towers was super popular, but generated uh, tremendous technical issues for the game. That's true. Dell uh, was meant to give players similar content without the lag, endless uh, endless spawning levels. Oh, and, and, oh, without, I thought it was said, without the endless spawning levels. 
<laughs> How are players handling the major chains? Uh, might we see Salvatore Glory restored at some point? Mm, I don't know why we would go. I think the Daughter Moon might be some really harsh words with us if she had to pack up and move <laughs> yet again. Sure. Delve ha is an evolution of the Shadow Towers in the uh, it offers someone exciting and new times to open a delve and your players apparently really enjoy the more variety challenge. That is true. It is it is better. It is um is it is it better than Shadow Towers? Not really. Uh is it is it better than Shadow Towers? Yes, on some way as well, because it's it is just Shadow Towers. Uh it is it's just a sh it's Shadow Towers just never ending so you don't have to reset you don't have to do that and um you can you know challenge yourself more than you could in doing that so yeah anyways it, it it's 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 overall it's better right my kids spend a certain amount of time playing bomb around which is the trove battle royale mode does get or pvp mode uh does gaming go have plans expanding or updating it oh i love that okay that's good uh we have <laughs> Some ideas to a timeline for ways to expand Evolve Bomb around in the future. I don't know when they will come to pass. But what about a season three? Just saying. Is that all they have about Bomb Around? Okay, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> Does the team have any plans to reduce the amount of time between the PC and console expansion launches? The last one was a couple of months of delay time. Am I worrying about console games, uh, especially after defines sunset? What sunset it? One, it's console version. Okay, I, I'm not sure what that means, but okay. The lag, uh, the, oh, the lag time <laughs> between console and it helps us make sure that we're getting consoles the most polished version of the game possibly and the more rapid updates. Trove console still going strong. And we have no plans on sun, uh, sunset. Okay, I think sunset. It, sunset. It is. You know they. You know. Bye bye. <laughs> Many of our developers play primarily on console uh, in their free time. Okay, agreed. Uh, I play on console a lot too. I can confirm that we'll keep going on. Yeah, I think the problem with. So first of all, um, I think the problem with. And, and that's why I think they not, I'm not sure about this. I'm, I'm just, you know, tinfoiling it ha here. But I think that the problem why, you know, consoles does not get updates as fast as PC is that it's not about Trove themselves. I think it's something to do with, um, uh, you know, the consoles, you know, Xbox and PlayStation and stuff like that is like they're not, they don't want people to, you know update their game all the time so i think they have to go through a process every time they want to update their game and we got about well now we have gotten 10 hot fixes for delve over time small ones for sure and stuff like that and it hasn't been a lot of time time or anything like that i'm not complaining i'm just saying uh, we have gotten 10 so if they have to approve 10 updates for what or well, I, I get technically the 11 right for the uh, the, up, the, the delve update itself right uh, that would be a lot of processing and maybe a lot of time consuming and if they had to be at the same time it will actually be a bad thing for you know the um, pc players you know so uh i think pc player or pc version of the pc version of trove you know you can just throw out updates whenever you want to you know whatever you want to right and that's like okay it goes you know just well, you have to have some downtime and some some stuff like that, but you know you can just do them whatever you want to, and you know console has like this maybe this approving process and stuff like that. So, I think what they mean is that uh, they use PC as a more of a you know they they have the PTS server, but they don't get all the bucks out of it because not everybody wants to play on PTS. I I, I don't want to I personally don't want to play on PC T, PTS because. Uh, I want to play the weird the, the, the live game, right? So, my point is that uh, they use PC and they get all the the, the bugs and the, get all the fixes in and stuff like that for all the bugs and stuff like that. And then when they have a more polished game, as they say, they can put it on consoles and they only have to do like one or two approvals or something like that. You know, they might have to have some uh, update, right? But oh, I I think that's the reason why because it's just so uh time consuming and you know it requires a lot of people and that's a lot of money you're not getting back not because of you but because of you know uh the different consoles and stuff like that that's my theory i don't know if it's true but you know 
Could be. Okay, uh, Trove has always seemed to be one of the, the, those games that definitely are accessible and is my little kids can play it and eventually definitely all characters progression system requires adult help and in some cases grinding. Well, yeah, sure, it's, it's not only kids playing the game. <laughs> the in-game grind and the uh, gating has always seemed a big uh, complaint for hardcore players too. Oh, has it? No, not really. Eh, maybe a little bit. Gonna be a wonder uh, gamma gun addressing and leaving alone on focusing on content instead. Okay, that's a actually re that's actually a really good question. That is actually a really hard question. Um, not um, yeah, compared to a soft question. That's what I mean. <laughs> uh, I think that's just the kind of game trove is. That's true. I would I would yeah. Generally speaking, we do add shortcuts to time uh, things uh, or after time passing old content quicker. Cover yeah. Yep. 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 That's true. That is very true. Uh, that said, we because uh, uh, com uh, companion eggs they they have done so now. If you didn't know, if you help the critters in the geo caves, they have a chance of giving you a specific egg to that kind of type of uh, uh, you know. It's not guaranteed to get you a golden one, uh, but it's guaranteed to at least get you that type of uh, you know uh, co companion. So that is something they have done over time, you know, and that's really what's really cool to do something like that. That said, we are, of course, always looking to ways to improve the game. Uh, littering and a recent adventures update was a great example of this. That's true. Okay, so we are almost over, and it's, uh, let's just get the last here. Last fall, Gamago changed around how it takes players' uh, subscription uh, submissions for in-game content uh, to make it easier for staff to sort through the mods and uh, decide what include to game. Can you? Folks, talk about more about this system and how many players are taking part and comparing and what uh, cosmic creations comes from gamers. Yep. Oh, there is actually a link here as well. Uh, let me open this, see what happens in here. Oh, that's ah, that's the Trovasaurus. That's the uh, which ones are you know uh, talking about this. Uh, so yeah, that's a link in there as well if you want to new you want to do so. Uh, but anyways, uh, we are absolutely absolutely talk about this. We can find the details. Uh, as for percentage of new content, anything anything that is added to the game that created by Trovians uh, has credit in an item itself and uh, in the collection. I would estimate around ten percent of our new content is player created. Uh, but that is oh for cups. Uh, I don't know what cups. Means. I think that's like it. It can be changed. I would uh, to estimate about 10% of our content uh, content created by players. The new submission system uh, has not only helped us a lot by making it easier to see what amazing new con creations our players has come up with, but believe that it is also made it a lot easier for our players to submit their creations. Um, with everything in place as a player, you are easily observed. Okay, great. Let's get into the last here. Um, what content are we looking for uh, now that Delta said does that uh, does the team have plans of more expansions yeah, for sure? What can we <laughs> have more? Ex uh, might you know? I don't know any about uh, any expansions, but it would be seems if like the day said, yeah, we're done, we're done. The game is done. We see you later. See you in uh, never. <laughs> uh, how many might we expect? Will new content going forward uh, based on the Dell system, or would there sort of be one off uh, as the team moves on for new ideas? Uh, Dells is here to stay. That would be weird if we <laughs> went back to or went over to something new. I right? like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we have so much still we want to explore down in the caves. For example, I don't think that all Shadow Tower villains has made it into their new layers yet. Okay, so that wow, great, yay. Uh, we also have a lot of grant plans for the future. I can't spill any of our secret just yet. Uh, so make sure to keep an eye out. Okay, that was that's not okay. And then they say thank you for Gamigo for speaking with us. Um, a little bit of lackluster on the um, on the answers, I would say. I think great questions by uh, massively o overpowered. Great questions indeed. Uh, so, but I do have to say that I think the the questions was a little bit. I was expecting. Well, we did know that about the. We did get a chloromancer kind of. You know, that's going to be the next one. Uh, not a huge update, I would say. 
Uh, I wish that we did would know about more about if it was gonna be a season three of Bomberell or not. But uh, yeah, well, okay, that's cool. That's cool. You know, we are. Uh, you know, that's just how things go, I guess. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this here little read through of the article that was made by you know massively overpowered. Again, it's linked in the description if you want to check all of uh, it uh, read yourself if you uh, were not comfortable with me reading it myself <laughs> but that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye